halfway mark, kicking out towards the western side, going up just like an Australian rules player as Calvin O'Shea, who gets it back. Keith Holman lived and breathed rugby league as player, referee and coach. O'Shea, O'Shea bursts out of one tackle, they get him round the ankles, back to, to Holman. Holman puts his head down like a fire eater and goes straight into the forward, but he's caught. Waiting for Holman to come round to put the ball in. Holman moves round now, puts the ball in the scrum. It's won by Australia, a dive pass out, and it goes to the backs again. A subtle, skillful halfback, the diminutive Holman led the way for modern-day halves like Tom Radonikus and Peter Sterling. Uh, just towards the Great Britain line. Back it goes to Carney, up to Holman. Holman darts off his right foot and goes down the centre, almost going through, just short of the line, he's dragged down. Out towards Frank Castle, was eventually grasped this time by Keithy Holman. He played with Wests from 1948 to 1961 and appearing in 32 tests between 1950 and 1958, figured prominently in Australia's first Ashes conquest in 30 years. He plays the ball back to Carney, back to Holman. Holman sees a chance here, goes darting through. A little kick, he's flying after him, and Australia will score again as Holman races after the ball. He dives out and goes in for a try. 